Well, Jim, let's uh, talk about another wrestling death that recently happened, just because a lot of listeners have sent in questions, although you didn't have a lot of time around him. Any thoughts on the passing of Adnan L. Casey, General Adnan? Uh, no, I I saw on Twitter people were saying, oh, what does, you know, Cornette have to say about uh, General Adnan, Adnan L. Casey, Billy White Wolf, if we're going to throw all the gimmicks in. Um, I believe that it was probably not until we were all in the position of doing a fan fest or two that I ever actually met him in person. We were, ne we never worked in the same place as you remember. He was, he would not have been there as a talent during the period of time in the late nineties that I worked for Vince. Would he, I'm trying to think. No, he was gone by 91. It was a very yeah, short I, run. He was there. It was 90, 91. Cause I'm going to say I met him maybe Maybe once, maybe twice at a, a couple of fan fests, if I recall correctly. And otherwise, we, you know, I never had any personal interaction. And the first I ever knew of him or knew who he was was Billy White Wolf when I first, you know, started watching wrestling as a kid and then discovered the wrestling magazines. What it was, was it 75 or 76? Not to far into the 70s that he and Strongbow were the tag team champions. Was that Strongbow's last big push at that point? No, he later had Jules Strongbow, remember? Oh, God, that's right. Yeah, he, got, he boy, he came up with all kinds of ways to stay on top in that company. Uh, but it, it was funny to me when I later found out that Sheik Adnan L. Casey used to be Billy White Wolf, you know, that I'd seen when I was 13 years old or whatever, because I, he, he went from an American Indian to a, a, a what I, we thought at the time, well, well, now he's an Indian because we the Sheiks are all the Indians or whatever. He, uh, he had an amazing career. If you read the, uh, the, his bios and recaps in international wrestling, and was huge in in Iraq, right? Is where he's originally legitimately from. That's right. He knew Saddam Hussein from childhood, I believe. Yeah. And they put together stadium shows over there. And, you know, so, and he had been in the business much longer than you would realize because he wasn't featured that much until the 70s, 80s in, you know, in America. But, uh, but yeah, just another guy that I never really had any personal interaction with. It's really wild when you think like 1983, 84, the fact that you had Adnan L. Casey and then he purchases Ken Patera from Bobby Heenan, who becomes a sheik. <laughs> Even Jerry Blackwell's dressed like a sheik. I mean, it was pretty funny, but it worked. And then at the same time, Fred Blassie all of a sudden becomes Ayatollah Blassie with the Iron Sheik yeah. in the WWF. Hercules Hernandez... But Skandar Akbar would then become a sheik and start yeah. dressing like a sheik. Hey, I'm telling you what, because people in America were fucking pissed about the gas prices and the, the oil crisis and, you know, et cetera, The et hostages. Cetera. The hostages. And, well, the gas crisis came even before the hostages, didn't they? Or was that afterwards? Well, it did, but I think, I thought we were talking about like, by the time he got to the early 80s, the different Well, things. yeah, but I mean the whole wave there. It started with the, you know, the gas and the blah, 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 blah and then the hostages. And so everybody, there was a Middle East invasion in every territory at that point because it was, you know, easy heat. Well, Jim, when it comes to easy heat... There's no easy transition. There's no easy transition. I don't know where you're going. I'm just pleased if you'll get there. But there is an easy way to place your bets, place your bets on your favorite games and players and all sorts of sporting-like things. All sorts of sportsmanship conduct, sportsmanlike conduct, whatever. Yeah, you've thrown me off with your shitty transition. Here it is. I found the copy. But you know what it's easy to do? <laughs> Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. For those of you who know how to download these apps, these mysterious things that float in the air around us, if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now and use the code JCE, you're going to make some money because new customers, that's people who have not patronized their establishment before, can bet $5 on football and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Now, that's just insane. You can retire on this, folks. 
you bet five dollars you get two hundred dollars then you get your little cousin pismo to bet five dollars you get another now you got four hundred dollars you've only spent ten if you've got a big enough circle of friends that you can convince that this is a good idea you're gonna make a million dollars all you have to do is win every bet but that's up to you because DraftKings Sportsbook is an official sports betting partner of the NFL. You know what that means? That means if you get on the wrong side of them, you're going to have some quarterbacks, tight ends, and wide receivers on your front porch knocking on your door. No, you're not. They work together. Like Rosie Greer is going to just show up at your house? Roosevelt Greer to you. I didn't know you guys were on a nickname basis. Folks, you can get in on the NFL Week 2 action. Is it the second week of the NFL already? My, how time flies. With DraftKings Sportsbook right now, because also all DraftKings customers, that means people that have been there and people that haven't been there, anybody that wants to be a customer can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. Do they play games on Wednesday, Brian? I mean, someone does. Well, then that's a game day. Baseball, of course, is every day of the week. Well, whatever goddamn day they're playing a game is game day in September, and all DraftKings customers can take advantage of two new offers. We don't know what they are. You're going to have to download the app and figure it out day by day. Day by day. Oh, dear Lord, these things I pray that I'll win these bets. So right now, download the app and use the code JCE to sign up. And remember, new customers, bet five bucks, take home 200 instantly in bonus bets. If you have a bonus bet, does that mean that you, you get a bonus if you win the bet, or it's just an extra bonus bet besides the bet you made? These wonderful questions can be bet on at DraftKings. Go to DraftKings the app. Sportsbook. Go to the app. They'll fill you in. DraftKings Sportsbook with code JCE. Folks, the crown is yours. And potential riches await you as long as you make the right decisions. And also in the fine print, gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.sot1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. I'm running out of air. <sighs> On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, we don't know. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario, a giant black hole. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms for eligibility. Terms and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions <sighs> apply. All right. Well, that was uh, our message about our friends at DraftKings, the official betting partner of Jim Cornette's Little Kingdom over here.